All right, Vapesters, welcome back. And I am super excited today, not only because we're having another beautiful spring-like day out there, but we're going to be taking a look at three of the best recent pod mod releases. And these are actually some incredible vaping devices. So I'm looking forward to going through the paces of three of the most popular new pods. So stay right where you is, guys, because we're taking a look at the UL Crown, the Vupu Vinci Air, and the Nord 2 today on Indoor Smokers. That's right guys, and we got three things to compare, so it means we got a juggling show, almost. And these do all have pods, but they vape so incredible, I almost hesitate to call them pod mods for fear that they'll be compared to something crappy like the Jewel. These are actually some sweet vaping devices. So let's run through the specs on these real quick. First up here, we have the UL Crown. This is a 1250 mAh built-in battery with a 3 mil pod on top. It does have the 0.6 um, resistance coil in there and this thing will do up to 25 watts. The Vupu Vinci Air is similar except this one is actually just a 900 mAh built-in battery. It is a little bit smaller and this pod holds 4 mils of juice and this thing will do up to 30 watts. The Nord 2 I think is actually the largest battery capacity at 1500 mAh. She also has a 4.5 mil tank juice capacity so that's also the largest on here and this thing will do up to 40 watts now one thing this thing won't do that the other two will do is this one you have to press the button it does not have an automatic inhale activation this is the new ul crown and you can vape it just like that or you can press the button and vape it more like a traditional sub ohm vape. And the flavor on that is very pronounced. I actually had my fresh strawberry in all three of these pods today, so I will be able to get a pretty accurate comparison on flavor, and then you guys can see the vapor production since it's the same juice. You'll get a pretty good comparable on that. I feel like maybe you get a little bit more vapor when you press the button to use it, at least on the crown. So this is the new Vupu Vinci Air. I do really like the look at this. It's got like that invisible tank up there. It's so clear. Meh. <laughs> ah. And as you guys will see, one other difference with the Vinci Air is you do have the LED screen. I have it set to 25 watts, and that's basically exactly what the Crown vapes at too for comparison purposes. And then the Nord also has the LED screen. This one I do have set at 32 watts because that is a 0.4 resistance. But all right, here's your comparison hit on the Vupu Vinci Air. Check it out. Very nice, smooth, easy draw, more airflow than what I'm getting on the Crown. I would say probably if you were coming just from smoking and you still like doing the mouth to lung hits, which is the way you smoke a cigarette, drawing the smoke into your mouth and inhaling and exhaling in two separate motions, I think this one's gonna be more um, compatible to doing mouth to lung hits and things like that. Nice, great flavor, dense, thick, rich vapor production on it, but it is a more restricted airflow, which is also what creates that denser vapor. Now this Vinci Air, as the name would presume, actually has a little bit more of an airy hit to it. But it is fantastic. So here's your hit without pressing the button on the Vinci Air. Because of that bigger airflow, in order to get that vacuum seal to trigger the vape, I feel like you do have to kind of draw especially hard on this one, where this one, because it already has a little bit more restricted, tighter draw, it kicks in really quick on that. All right, guys, so now we're going with the third, the Nord 2. Here is the 32-watt draw on the 0.4 resistance coil. Check it out. Cock 
a doodle. Damn! I gotta say, guys, that RPM mesh coil in this freaking thing, man, it's hitting like a beast. Flavor on it is spot on. Hells yeah! Now that probably for both density, consistency of vapor, and the size of the vapor cloud, I think the Nord 2 is going to hit it. So all right, guys, if you are interested in picking up either the Vupu Vinci Air, the Nord 2 by Smoke, or the UL Crown, I will put the link underneath this video where you can get all three of these. And if you want to check out some of that fresh cut strawberry over at MIG Vapor. I'll put a link to that as well. You guys can also create your own flavors over there at MIG. It's the only site I know of that has the vape bar, which is basically a big bar of all the different flavored e-juice, and you can mix and match them all in like, I don't know, 100 million different combination possibilities. Get creative, man! So, all right, and if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to this channel. Ring that little bell so you get notifications. More important than ever. And the liking and the sharing, guys. Man, I was really impressed with the last video that we uploaded about the flavor ban being lifted. And I read one comment about how, you know, the vape channels have been put in the basement and a lot of people aren't getting notifications. And I told you guys that the sharing and the likes and the comments, that those really helped offset the algorithms. And, man, you guys really came through. I was amazed how many likes we got. The video did awesome. It hit about 10,000 views. I feel like a big part of that is thanks to you guys. So again, if you would be so kind as to give us a thumbs up, give me a comment, not only because it helps the exposure of the video, but also because I love hearing from you. I hope you are just having fantastic weather where you guys are at. I mean, like I said, we are 50 degrees and sunny here, and I'm going to go head out and enjoy some of that nice weather. So I'll catch you guys right back here again. I believe we got something good for you guys to look at tomorrow. Catch you then. Peace. You guys go i'll even work for those likes man i'll work for my dinner all right that should be enough fuckery that should hold the little bastards for another week you guys ever hear that story about that children's show guy back in like the 50s or 60s? And at the end of the show, they hadn't cut the mic yet. And he says that should hold the little bastards for another week. Ass was fired on the spot. Luckily, we can say that shit on YouTube. Bastards, see you next time. Peace.